What's up, YouTube? It's a new day and a new video. And like I stated in my review, which is technically, I guess, this is going to be part two of the review because I'm actually going to let you know what's going on because it's now daytime, as you can see. And look at this amazing view that I have from my front door. Not to boast too much, but it's awesome. So I was gonna walk around my neighborhood, but just the hustle and bustle right now in the early afternoon of Colorado Springs slash Fountain, Colorado. Just a little too loud right now. A little bit louder than this locust above me up in this tree. But when it comes to review time for this extended battery for the GoPro Hero 7, which I stated in the review video, I guess the part one review video, because I guess this is part two, because now I'm letting you know how it actually handled itself anyway filming with a gopro hero 7 and i have no complaints about this extended battery so far when it comes to recording with this gopro hero 7 that i found on amazon for a little over 40 dollars i i've only charged it one time and just in that one charge i've charged my gopro two and a half times it's currently charging right now it's at 53 percent battery and that's on that's all on one charge that 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 is insane why did i not buy this any sooner than i did i could have used this on so many disney trips so many disney days back when i was living in in florida and it just astonishes me because i'm still at 50 percent battery on the extended battery pack or on the you know extended battery case i should say from uh digi power with refuel i have no complaints so far that means i could probably charge my gopro up to six times just on one charge of this battery case you know maybe later if it if it kind of gets a little funky a little wonky and in the, in the battery case life starts to decline i'm gonna have to probably make another video but as of right now no complaints whatsoever and it's a beautiful day here in colorado look at that that's an amazing view except for the stupid power lines but what can we do i need power lines to even charge my camera to be able to talk to you i just can't get over the difference between texas and colorado especially around this time of year we got people fishing over here we have a couple back here having a picnic back home it's like 100 degrees i wouldn't even care to be outside this long it's about 75 degrees right now it feels very warm oh we have a friend on the path don't bite my ankle sir However, this would not be happening in September back in Texas. So that's always a plus. But back to the extended battery. Where my curiosity peaks is what's gonna happen when I'm using this in a hotter setting or a hotter climate, like back in Texas, or possibly in a, in a more humid area like Florida. What is that gonna do to the battery life? And then this upcoming snow season, it's going to start snowing probably about five or six weeks. Temperatures are going to drop pretty, like, way lower than the 75 degrees, obviously, for it to snow. But that's where my curiosity peaks is, is it going to be able to keep that same battery life when it reaches those more humid climates or the more colder climates? Because the GoPro battery as itself sucks when it comes to colder climates for sure when i'm snowboarding it's so bad i have to take both batteries and i can maybe get two runs on the mountain and i have to be very precise and very very sure of what i'm going to be recording so hopefully that this refuel extended battery for my gopro helps quite a bit and it's going to be a game changer this season on the slopes and then also just a game changer in general but Overall, that is basically what my review is going to be when it comes to this extended battery pack. You must get it. If you don't want to get the Volta, because I know that GoPro, ever since the Hero 8 came out, they came out with a media mod. Ever since they came out with that media mod, a lot of people have been thinking about using GoPros for vlogging. I've been using a GoPro for vlogging ever since, I guess, 2019 when I officially started. But ever since 2019, I've been using my GoPro. And I haven't had really any complaints except for the battery life. And maybe a little bit about the audio, but you can adjust the audio just a little bit in the camera itself and make it sound better. I'm, I'm so curious to kind of see what it sounds like inside the case. 
Um, I, I'm hoping it sounds just fine. However, ultimately, I, I would probably give the, the refuel a 9 out of 10 when it comes to the battery life that it's, it, that it's given me so far. And then the utility of it, because it's not very hard to hold. And then also, it's not much bigger than the actual GoPro itself. I mean, you would think that it'd be massive and it looks very blocky, don't get me wrong. It looks very, very weird at first, especially when I'm looking this way. However, I, I'm just trying. I guess the reason why I'm still recording and the reason why I, I, I look blown away, I'm trying to find something negative to talk about when it comes to this extended battery. And I just can't. So far, I, I cannot. If it changes, I'm gonna have to make another video in the future. However, that is... That's my take. So if you have a, a GoPro Hero 5 through 7, and I think the box said the original Hero, you might have to correct me. I think that's what I said in my first review for the unboxing. But if you have a if you have any of those cameras, you must buy this if you vlog or if you or if you record things for an extended amount of time. That is that is basically my point with this. Like me, when I go to Disney, I have an eight, nine hour day. When I go to the slopes, I have an eight or nine hour day. I'm gonna start recording more often just throughout the day. So on my days off or on the weekends or, or whenever I can record or whenever I wanna record, I'm gonna have probably four plus, five plus hour days where I'm gonna need this extended battery. That's my take. Take what you want with it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe trying to grow my channel I'm trying to vlog more trying to create more content for memories and also just for fun I've realized that I've really uh, enjoyed editing so there's more to come wanted to make this review video here Colorado Springs let's get ready for the snow season with this extended battery pack this thing is sick you must buy it